Okay, so this is a thank you Justin Williams video. I kind of wanted to talk about Justin Williams for a few minutes, just, you know, because he announced his retirement from the NHL, and this video is long overdue, but I've been busy with school because I'm a broke college student, but now is the time to, I think, thank Justin Williams. Now, I wish I had a Justin Williams jersey I could wear, but I don't, so I just wore black, which I think was like, when I think of Justin Williams in a Hurricanes jersey that I actually own, I do eventually want to buy all the Hurricanes jerseys. I think of this one, because that's what he wore in the playoff run when he was captain. But, you know, I think he is one of the best Hurricanes of all time. Uh, came, won a Stanley Cup with us, has the most iconic goal in Carolina Hurricanes history. So I would, uh, I would say Justin Williams uh, is probably third or fourth. I think Brenda Moore is number one. Ron France is probably number two. Uh, and then Williams, number three. You could argue Eric Stahl, but I think Williams, because he came back in Carolina and, you know, came to uh, have the Hurricanes make the playoffs and accomplish that, I would put him at number four. Now, I want to go over his stats in the regular season which he had a hunt you played a thousand two hundred and sixty four games uh three hundred and twenty goals four hundred seventy seven assists seven hundred and ninety seven points which you know it's okay i mean like you know decent hockey player way better than i'd ever be he was a great hockey player i would say at the nhl level and those are decent stats not like hall of fame stats and then 100 and then the playoffs he played 162 playoff games got 41 uh goal 61 assist 102 points so like objectively if you look at it he is not a like he's not a hall of famer but this is my biggest problem with the NHL it's not just about stats cuz you know Rod Brindamore should be in the Hall of Fame just for his leadership ability alone. And the fact that he, like, I, yeah, like, Rod Brindamore should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if Justin Williams will be another guy where people are like, oh, man, this guy should really get into the Hall of Fame and then just doesn't. Because you look at his career, he's won three Stanley Cups, got a con Smythe in there, had a great run with the L.A. Kings as the playoffs, and they were another underdog team. It was weird when L.A. was the underdog team and they somehow won but you know you have justin williams so uh, i think uh i think when it comes to justin williams i didn't plan out what i was going to talk i just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a tribute video other than reading his stats you know uh like justin williams was just a great player he earned the nickname mr game seven i'm not gonna call him that because he hates the nickname and you know if he hates the nickname i'm not gonna call him that but he was very clutch in game sevens i think he earned the nickname that he hates uh, and my favorite thing about justin williams is you know like i always liked justin williams because he got the most iconic goal in hurricanes history which is the empty netter he got uh, that will always be the most iconic goal in Hurricanes history unless we win another Stanley Cup or something or have a dynasty. Uh, but for right now, it's like the most iconic Carolina Hurricane goal uh, of all time. And I don't think another goal comes close. I mean, you have Alexander Simmons' goal, but that was a game where the Hurricanes were already kind of out and Simmons was kind of becoming a bust. You have the Svechnikov regular season. This is the goal that won us the Stanley Cup, so... Like, the current games have some iconic goals. You have the Stahl 3.2, but Williams, I think, is just the solid number one most iconic goal. Went on to have a decent career in other places. I was always cheering for him wherever he went. Same with Doug Waite. Same with Mark Recchi. Uh, there are guys that Eric Cole I also cheered for. There are guys that when they left Carolina, I'd still cheer for them once they were gone. Cam Ward, I wish, worked out in Chicago. So Justin Williams was one of those guys, and then I remember I was so on board when Justin Williams re-signed with the Hurricanes, and he just kind of said, you know, he's like, hey, I came here, I want to get this organization that I played with, that I got along with, back in the playoffs, and that's when I'm like, oh man, Justin Williams, like, that, that, that's when that interview I saw and everything he was saying when he re-signed with the Hurricanes, just, like, had him skyrocket, my favorite hockey players of all time. He used to be, like, top 20 now he's, like, probably top five. I think I don't remember where I listed him as my top ten favorite Hurricanes of all time. But I think, but 
You know, he's definitely at least like top ten favorite hockey players of all time. Because my favorite Hurricanes of all time are in there. Maybe throw Gretzky, Howe, and Orr like in that mix. But generally, those are also my top ten all time favorite players. So, you know, when it came back, and he got us back in the playoffs for the first time in a decade. We didn't make the playoffs his first season, but when he was captain and stuff, he was a big part of that 2019 run. And, you know, I think he really pulled off uh, what he set out to do with the Hurricanes, and he was the leader, and him and Brendan Moore have a close relationship, and so Brendan Moore was like, all right, you're my captain, and I think he was probably the third greatest captain we've had. I'd put him as a better captain than Eric Stahl. Eric Stahl might have been a better Hurricane all in all, but I think Eric Stahl was better before he was captain. Justin Williams, I think Justin Williams has just always been a consistent player. And he was the leader of the team and helped turn the team around in a way Eric Stahl couldn't. So, and that's not any disrespect on Eric Stahl. Most of that was just horrible trades, the Semin signing, but Williams was a key part of turning our organization around as one that's kind of respected in the NHL. So, you know, I just want to say thank you. I would put him in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he has the career stats to do it. I think he's got some accomplishments to do it. Uh, he's got a lot of clutch goals in his hockey career because, you know, he, of his nickname, that shall not be said, but that speaks for itself. Uh, so... You know, thank you, Justin Williams. I wish I wish you well in your retirement. I think it's well earned, and I wish and I wish him the best. And I hope actually that he gets a management job as the Hurricanes is either a scout and assistant coach. You know, I think Brendan Moore would be more than willing. I'd love to see Williams behind the bench for the Hurricanes. So anyway, thank you, Williams. And uh, if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, you can like and subscribe. Uh, I guess click the bell. There's so many things you gotta say. I mean, I don't intend to make money. I just like talking to people about hockey. I don't care if you... Like, just the conversation is the most part. You know, it's always kind of like a fun dopamine hit. But enough about my YouTube-ness. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Williams, thank you. And uh, may you rest well. And hopefully I'll get to see you and Brenda Moore in the hall in the near future.